And I am Adam Hiller. And together, we are going to explore and celebrate the outer boundaries of love and human kindness and help these two traverse the minefield of marriage by giving them everything they need to know to survive the rest of their lives as a married couple in 30 minutes or less. <laughs> Hopefully without being blown up. <laughs> My friends, you were invited here to share this moment with Stefan and Jennifer because you are the people who mean the most to them. The understanding and mutual respect that they bring to their lives has its roots in the love, friendship, and guidance you have given them. You are their community. They are honored to have you here. I am deeply honored that Jennifer has asked me to preside over what is quite possibly the most special day of her life. Just so everyone knows, Jennifer is my sister which makes for a bit of a conflict of interest, and so I invited the Reverend Padre Rabbi Moshe Jesus of Flanagan here, just to show that there is no favoritism towards the Hiller family. And also because he's a minister of eight different churches and can therefore preside over a wedding in the state of California. That's right, Adam, so let's begin tying this knot. But everyone here knows either Jennifer or Stefan, and some of you know both. So I'm sure will come as no surprise to any of you that they would not have a normal wedding. <laughs> Both the bride and the groom come from pretty typical backgrounds, but somehow each of them has evolved into a very unique individual. 
even in a world of unique people. Two bright red fish in a fish tank of white guppies. Two pink grapefruits on a yellow lemon tree. Two Harley Davidson motorcycles. Oh, so for the benefit of, of those that don't know both members of the wedding couple, we'd like to give you a little background. Jennifer and Stefan met each other in 2006 on that great popular social center known as the internet. Both of them are known for being intelligent, passionate about their beliefs, and, of course, outspoken in their attempts to put Big, Blo Big Brother in his place. <laughs> Adam! Uh, yes, Reverend Padre Moisha Jesus of Flanagan? <laughs> Don't you think we need some sap sappy stuff? This is a wedding, after all. <laughs> that sounds like a plan. Um, so that Adam here doesn't keep talking, we'd like to have each and every one of you come up to the microphone and give your personal opinion about why marriage is so special. Uh, we'll start in the first row. Oh, oh no. You, we, we talked about this. <laughs> well, we have this place for three hours. <laughs> well, fine. Well, at this time, then, we'll ask Jennifer's sister, April, to rise, or she's already standing up, <laughs> and give her thoughts on this special occasion. And... While we're at it, we'll have Stefan's brother Jerome rise and give April's thoughts on this special occasion <laughs> in French. Because you believed. Because you believed. Parce que vous avez cru. Within your hearts you knew that no one can change the path that you must go together. Vous le saviez dans vos cœurs que personne ne peut changer le chemin que vous devez suivre ensemble. And you knew, I'm sorry, you believe what you felt and you knew you were right. Vous avez cru en ce que vous avez ressenti et saviez que vous avez raison. Because the time finally came around when you said it's yours. Car le moment est finalement arrivé d'emprunter ce chemin ensemble. Believe that you can have a home together. Imaginez vivre ensemble. Believe you can float on air. Comme sur un nuage. Pet your cats three times if you believe, and then you'll be there. Caressez vos chats trois fois si vous y croyez, alors vous y serez. That's why I want you to believe in yourselves right from the start. C'est pour c'est pourquoi je veux que vous croyez en vous-même dès le début. Believe in the magic right there in your hearts. Croyez en la magie qui se trouve là, dans vos cœurs. Go ahead, believe all these things, but not because I told you to. Allez-y, croyez en toutes ces choses, non pas parce que je vous l'ai dit. But believe in yourselves. Mais croyez en vous-même. As I believe in you. Tout comme je crois en vous. Thank you, April and Jerome. For our second reading, we have an ancient love poem. We'll have the wedding couple join hands and gaze affectionately into each other's eyes. <clears throat> this is called A Caveman's Letter. <laughs> Allo, me, Crunk. Crunk, new at this. Me, no, know how to say Crunk, love you in good way. Crunk, think. What cave woman want? Kronk think cave woman want strong cave man. Kronk not strong cave man. Kronk think cave woman want good hunter. Kronk not good hunter. Kronk think cave woman want smart cave man. Crunk, smart caveman. Crunk have best grammar in whole tribe. Crunk decide, me write poetry. You name Elda. Sound like pretty, like call of giant bird. Elda, Elda. You smell like tree in spring. Crunk would kill tribe leader for Elda. Crunk would eat berries from poison bush for Elda. Crunk invent wheel for Elda. <laughs> Elda hair like river after rain. 
held her eyes like sky when no clouds. Me want you like saber tooth tiger want coyote. <laughs> like fire want wood. Elk, elder like meat and water to crunk. Crunk need elder to live. Crunk love you. That why crunk no carve poem in stone. Stone break too easy. Crunk love no break easy. Crunk dig river and ground in shape of words. And take you to mountain, show you words. That way, even when no water, words stay. Love stay. Even when fire burn down forest, words stay. Even when woolly mammoths stampede, even when hurricane, even when crunk die, words stay, love stay, love stay. At this time, we will ask the wedding couple to exchange their vows of marriage. Sometimes we add a humorous note to the vows, but one cannot forget the significance of the promises we make. Let us remember that no man is truly married until he understands every word his wife is not saying. <laughs> Under California law, it is required that a public wedding be witnessed by at least one person. And to witness today's vows, all the way from Lyon, please give a warm welcome to Guinol. Quino, give me Quino. Third time's a charm. <laughs> to you, Jennifer, understand that a hundred people are sitting here watching you in a big foofy lavender dress, expressing your undying love for Stefan, and at this point, it's permanent and no backing out, notwithstanding your limousine. <laughs> and do you agree that Stefan is a really awesome guy and you're way better off committing to him for the rest of your life than you would be if you two just hung out on occasion as friends? And do you vow to take Stefan to be your lawfully wedded husband, to cherish and to love, in sickness and in health, as long as you both shall live? I do. <laughs> and Stefan... Well, we have one more. <laughs> <laughs> that was the hard one, right? <laughs> and Stefan, did you previously think that the idea of marriage was something intangible and something you might do eventually, but now you realize that this ceremony is the biggest, real deal, unplugged, sincerely meaningful, and everlasting thing you'll ever do? Yes. <laughs> Don't answer yet. And do you agree that Jennifer, who, let me remind you, is my sister, so you better answer this the right way, is a really cool lady whose nearly non-existent flaws can be overlooked for the greater good? <laughs> and do you vow to take Jennifer to be your lawfully wedded wife, to cherish and to love, in sickness and in health, as long as you both shall live, and... Do you vow to let us use your Skype password from time to time so we can chat with you guys from across the world when you're a married couple? I do. <laughs> and now for the rings. Say goodbye to Kinyol. Thank you. The tradition of exchanging rings at a wedding dates back thousands of years. According to that great source of all knowledge and wisdom uh, in the universe, Wikipedia, <laughs> the wedding ring has diverse historical significance and was at one time the purchase price for the bride. Now, of course, we do it a little more pragmatically. Uh, but let us not forget the words of a great wedding philosopher. Marriage is a three-ring circus. The engagement ring, the wedding ring, and supper. <laughs> and with that, I will ask Stefan to put the ring on Jennifer's fingers. Fingers. <laughs> Look at the ring on Jennifer's finger <laughs> and say, with this ring, I be wed. With this ring, I be wed. And Jennifer now. Look at the ring on Stefan's finger <laughs> and say, with this ring, I be wed. With this ring, I be wed. <laughs> Willy Wonka's quarters having said, don't forget what happened to the man who suddenly got everything he wanted. He was happily ever after. And so by the power vested in me by the state of California as a deputy commissioner of civil marriages, and by the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church, 
And by the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church Monastery, and by the power vested in me by the American Marriage Ministries, and by the power vested in me by the Open Ministry, and by the power vested in me by the House of Disconcordianism, and by the power vested in me by the Church of the Latter-day Dude, and by the power vested in me by the Church of Spiritual Humanism, and by the power vested in me by the Prophetic Analysis Research Institute, and by the power vested in me by the United Church of Bacon, <laughs> we now pronounce you was husband and wife, wife and husband. You can kiss little whippers now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to present to you for the first time as a married couple, Jennifer and Stefan, Stefan and Jennifer. Oh, yeah. 